Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be going through a contents review of the Sword Impulse Gundam. And this was from Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. Released by Bandai back in 2005. Wow, time has gone by. This is what's now a 15 year old kit. Um, so this is the original Hagro that was released obviously back in 2005. I do know there is a premium Bandai Sword Impulse Gundam, um, which is obviously based off the more recent uh, Force Impulse Gundam. And if I remember correctly, yes, I do have it somewhere in my backlog. And yes, I will try and actually do a review for it. Um, similarly, I do have the actual Blast Impulse as well, so I'm going to actually try and give it a good shot at um, doing all sorts of Impulse Gundams um, in the immediate future. Um, I'll throw a link over to Hobby Link Japan in the description. Uh, if you're keen on grabbing at least this version of the Sword Impulse, um, obviously Hobby Link don't stock uh, premium Bandai kits, which is okay. Um, but if you're after the original Sword Impulse, um, have a look there. There will be a link in the description. So, um, being contents review, the box obviously isn't going to be in this, but um, all the contents will be. So, here we have the manual, obviously being 2005 where everything is still very much in Japanese, but we have a, a top body shot of the Sword Impulse, of the actual kit, uh, and then obviously we've got the um, line art of the front, the back, um, obviously line art of Shin, and the, I believe in this case that is the sword silhouette. It's been a while since I've done Seed Destiny, so terminology is a little forgotten. So that's the front and the back um, is main instructions. We'll come back to that. We open up the booklet. What do we have inside? So, obviously, stats about the sword impulse, some posing, uh, breakdown of the various weapons and accessories it has, the mechanisms. Now, I do not remember half of these, so I'm not even going to try to one of these days, especially since I still have a few of these impulse kits left to do. I will try to remind myself what is what. Um, so that's in the individual components, um, front and back of the Sword Impulse. Uh, interesting that it's mentioned some parts compatibility here, which I dare say is just suggesting that it's compatible with the Force Silhouette? Question mark. Uh, color Guide. And then down here we have some more details on the weapons, the core splendor, and what's up next in the lineup, which I know that's the Chaos and Gaia. I can't remember. There you go. It has been a while since I've done Sea Destiny. Despite the fact I've been building seed kits for like almost the last half a year. So that's the inside, moving right along, um, quickly look at the parts list, so there will be A, B, C, and F, and a polycap. Oh, and some stickers. So, A, B, and C, I would imagine are probably shared from all the impulse condoms. Not that the blast impulse, I don't think had a high grader back in the day. I can't remember. I might check that up. Um, 
F is probably specific to the sword impulse. So, having a look through, um, build body, build the head, weapons, arms, and then top torso, waist, um, obviously some stickers will be applied throughout the build, feet, legs, assembly, chorus blender, um, putting the impulse together, and then the actual parts for the sword silhouette and it's um I was gonna say anti-mobile suit swords but I believe the swords are more for um anti-ship swords I believe um, and then obviously we'll go through that back page um to transform parts of the impulse back into its various fly components which as I said I can't remember off the top of my head um it's actually pretty cool now obviously I can say I, it's not a bad kit because I have been well I did start I do need to finish it um, mainly because there's a lot of color corrections I'd like to do um on the force impulse condom I'm pretty sure I'll link to that um video somewhere here as well so that is the booklet, which we will come back to later on. Um, looking at what else came in the box, so foil stickers. Um, the eyes, pretty standard. Um, am I going to use those for the swords? Probably not. Um, some of those will be for the torso and the base of the um, waist skirt. Which I might try and avoid if I can. Um, not sure what the black is for. Something, obviously. So that's the foil sticker sheet. It's not too bad. But um, let's see if I can minimise using some of that as much as I can. Okay. Multicolor A runner. Um, so we have black, white, yellow and red. Uh, looking at this right now. I know that's the exact same runner that I would have snipped parts off when I did the Force Impulse. So it would have been quite cool to build this all over again. Um, but it actually wasn't that bad. It's a shame that these, um, the shoulders here, uh, put that in view. Um, the watch should be white. Uh, it's obviously moulded in red. Uh, it's not a separate piece. So. There will be some color corrections there, unfortunately. And obviously, at the bottom of the skirt here, I think that's where some of those foil stickers will go. So that's the A runner, the multicolor A runner. Uh, next up, we have B runner in white. Uh, it's pretty much solely for the legs left leg, right leg. Um, ankle armor and the top of the leg it's all in white and then some of that uh, some of those parts from the a runner will um, attach to the top just to add a splash of color the c runner in gray so pretty much joints hands weapons uh, thruster bells things like that Pretty cool. That's um, C Runner in grey. A multicolor F Runner. So these parts will be specific to the sword impulse. Um, for the most part. Obviously, this would have been a carryover from the force impulse. Um, I was going to say maybe even the Core Splendor. I actually can't remember now. I don't think it did. Okay, so the Core Splendor, I believe, is possibly new to this. Um, obviously, here we have the swords, uh, beam effects, um, other, the beam boomerang, 
and parts of the uh, sword silhouette. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what colors do we actually have? So we have red, white, black, and your um, beam effect pink, I guess. I'm sure it's got a proper name. And lastly, polycap PC123. Um, obviously your joints and things like that, your routine polycaps. So that's actually not too bad. Um, good number of runners for a kit uh, that is 15 years old. And as I said, having done the um, Force Impulse, it actually isn't a bad kit. If you're not too worried about the color corrections, it is a pretty fun kit to build. So, there we have it, the contents of the Sword Impulse Gundam. Um, obviously being the high grade, there is the mask grade floating around, obviously the P-Bandai um, high grade CE version, um, which I will try and do as well in the near future as well, um, just to keep going with all these Seed and Seed Destiny kits and videos and builds. It's been a very good year for it. And as I said at the very beginning of the video, I will try and include some links to Hobby Link as well. Um, see if anything piques anyone's interest or at least um, provides some inspiration. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you do, feel free to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date and informed on new releases. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account and a link to that will be in the description below. Thanks again for your support to help grow this channel. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.